Hello, São Paulo lovers and hotels fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and this is Curves on the Road. In today's video, I'll show you two hotels here in Sao Paulo in different locations so that if you're traveling here, you have the idea what to expect. The first hotel is called Central Park Flat Gardens. It's a four stars hotel. It costs around 74 euros per night and it's located near Avenida Paulista, which is the center of shopping and culture in Sao Paulo. This hotel has a beautiful reception. When you enter, you see the fresh exotic flowers and a statue. The check-in went very smoothly. I didn't test if the personnel speaks English, so I'm not 100% sure they claim they do, but I didn't verify that. The room we got is on the seventh floor. It's one of those apartment styles ones. So it's supposed to have like a living room area, a kitchenette, it has a microwave. Again, we didn't cook here anything. So it's there, how it works, I can't really tell you. There is a fridge, the fridge works perfectly. There is some drinks inside those drinks are paid so it's not part of the hotel price if you want any of the snacks that are in the room you have to pay extra based on the price list from the hotel there is a sofa not the most comfortable thing on earth but it's there there is a tv that turns either to the bed or to the living room area and of course uh, there is a bed in the bedroom. It's not a king size. I don't know if it claims to be a king size on the website, but if it's not even like it's queen, it's a small queen, let's say. So don't expect anything big. It's comfortable, perfectly fine. Pillows are soft. You don't really need any cover because it's really hot here most of the time. So that's all fine. Now to the little downfalls of the room. It's just not well organized. The space is huge, but the part that you don't use much or we didn't use much is the kitchenette. And that, that, that's quite big and you really don't need that space. While the bed, there's not even space for two nightstands. So there's just a nightstand on one side of the bed. No charging option at the bed. The sockets are all around the room, but mostly near the ground. So when you want to charge your phone or your appliances, yeah, it's a little bit crawling on, on the ground. So that's not very smart. You can barely reach from the bed since it's the smallest place and they squeezed in even the wardrobe you can't get to the wardrobe so we kept all our clothes and everything in the luggage uh, there were no hangers uh, there is a safety deposit box that works but nobody gives you instructions how it works so we had to call the personnel to know what's going on so if you come here it's six digit code you have to put it twice and then it locks and you have to put the code again to open it. The bathroom is okay, not the biggest one, but perfectly sufficient. If it's your first time in Brazil, you might be shocked a little bit that you don't put the toilet paper in the toilet, but in the bin next to the toilet. The shower in Brazil, 99% of them are those rain showers, you know, or they are from above. Never had problems with water, never drank it though. So only for brushing teeth, but I used it for brushing teeth and so far so good. You get some toiletries from quite a good brand. So that, that's a good thing. The, the shampoo, conditioner, so they don't give you liquid soap, only the hard one. So if, if you're used to like a shower gel, you have to keep in mind, you won't get it here. There's an elevator, of course, there are like over 20 floors so it wouldn't work without the elevator here so you can get to your floor comfortably by the elevator there is a rooftop swimming pool we've never used actually i was hoping we would but there was no time for that
the Wi-Fi, you can connect for free to the Wi-Fi of the hotel to read your emails, check uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. It's good enough for that, but no big browsing. The breakfasts were very good. They had pound the queijo, of course. They had lots of delicious fruit. My favorite was papaya. They had scrambled eggs, all you can think of, some desserts. Definitely, you will not be upset with the breakfast. Parking. There's a free parking. They have the system that you give the keys to the personnel and they'll take the car down to the garages. It's all for free, then you go to the reception when you want your car and they'll confirm for you and again you retrieve your car. I'm now standing at the balcony of the room. You can see the view behind me. Uh, well, actually there is another building right opposite, so don't wander around the room naked if you don't want to be seen by the people in the opposite building. It's a small balcony, really not much to it. Uh, you can probably hear behind me some noises. That's the street. We're near Avenida Paulista, so the busiest part of the city, basically. So don't expect calm neighborhood. The uh, soundproofing in the room works quite well, but bear in mind, I was really tired every evening. So even if they were shooting a shotgun around, around my head, I probably wouldn't wake up. A hotel in, in the very city center with all its benefits and all its downsides. Would I come back? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was really irritated by some of the things that didn't work, like for example, the charging, the bed being organized and the room being so big and most of it being useless. So I would probably try a different hotel, but it doesn't mean this hotel is bad. It's perfectly fine, it's clean, every day we got the room cleaned, we got the fresh toiletries, fresh, t fresh, fresh towels, everything was fine from that matter, it's just that, yeah, I've, I've been to smaller rooms that were better organized, that's, that's all. hotel is Intercity near Sambodromo. We moved because we went for the carnival. If you want to see how the carnival went, you can check my separate video on that. hotel in the reception I'm pretty sure they speak some English but not much I think that's the theme over here the breakfast is very similar to the other hotel I would say almost the same they just have coxinha as one of the little things I like and they didn't have in the other hotel There is an elevator to your floor. It's quite a tall uh, hotel. At the rooftop, there is a swimming pool that you can use. And there is a beautiful view of the city. So if you're here, don't miss on that. The room much better than the first one. This one, I think, is half the size of the, of the other one I showed you, but it's much more smarter organized. There is enough space for the bed stands, the bed is huge. It all makes sense and it looks more modern and new. And of course, enough sockets near the nightstand. There's, of course, TV, 
Uh, there's a mini bar, again, you have to pay for what you consume. There's not a wardrobe as such, there's just some metal construction, but perfectly fine for the couple of days you would probably be staying. Safety deposit box and some hangers. Here you can hang your clothes. Great bathroom, really strong current of the water. I used it to wash my hair, so you can see my hair is still wet. Very cool room, comfortable bed, huge, uh, clean sheets, very nice. I would definitely come back. And it's a strategic location if you're already going for the carnival, you're quite near. So that's it, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give me a hotel thumb up? And you can subscribe to my channel, I upload every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And bye!